all right guys for kage here and welcome back to the brand new video i'm gonna start straight with this because if i don't promote it you just don't support it <laughs> please i'll put it as a pinned comment and description below make sure to support me in content creator program we're on the road to 200 supporters so let's get it soon 3rd of july after a little bit afterwards i believe we should get the codes and all of my supporters will get the codes and most likely we are talking about the 1000 free essence so hurry up support me so you don't miss it on today's video guys the new update will be the topic i am re-recording this so i already know everything what i will talk about what i will talk about but uh, let we start mainly i will talk about massive huge mistakes that you can currently do after this update I will cover everything, leave a like, subscribe, your opinions in the comment section below and let we start. First of all, Libora has been added as the brand new uh, limited banner character, whatever you want to say. Definitely, especially if you're free to play, do not summon. She's amazing character, don't get me wrong, especially because she's incredible debuffer with applying the charm to the enemies where you then do 15% bigger damage which is super broken and as well with her so that's with sunk right and with her qte she's also applying charm plus she she is control type of the character at the end of the day really really good character uh broken in that sense of debuffing so you can do bigger damage but definitely i recommend if you want her get her from the custom banner please she's definitely not work worth summoning with the new limited tickets as you can see new characters are extremely important especially for the new events so in future they're gonna keep that pattern so make sure to save up and be ready okay especially free to place super important okay now uh, uh, another big mistake guys that you can do is since they improved workshop of brilliant light and i will explain how and everything so you're gonna know and as well i will talk about which stages you should grind to maximize the amount of artifacts so maybe i'll just do an updated video on that but i will definitely talk about that on today's video as well uh, artifact event pretty much became useless uh uh, only buy the materials you actually need so you can develop your characters do not uh, salvage your good uh, artifacts not even mid artifacts uh, for this type of um, uh, materials right here especially artifacts new artifacts you can grind them from the workshop of brilliant light so this is 1 million percent now not worth it okay guys have that in mind so this is one of the huge mistakes that you can do as well uh okay and we have as well as well as well as well right uh we have the brand new collect a celebration event i'm not sure is it bugged or the materials are super rare <laughs> okay because uh, you you're grinding 50 day celebration coin uh you're grinding 50 day uh, uh appreciation celebration coin and a cheer celebration coin and all of those material you should be getting from some of them you will get from gates some of them from encore missions and instant dungeons uh, and vice versa it will it will be mixed uh, you will see just keep on grinding but i i grinded the gates i grind few encore missions i didn't got anything so getting free character and weapon most likely won't be that easy especially if you want to get free tickets as well we're gonna see maybe they will address it maybe they will buff it but i definitely think they should increase rates if they want we get all of these materials have that in mind we're gonna see but i definitely think they should improve it or i just got extremely unlucky we're gonna see this is here for 13 days 22 hours so i don't want to say anything false but just based on my few runs this is what i was able to conclude treasure hunt guys uh, make sure to grind all of these missions on daily basis because then you're going to be able to unlock uh, more of this whatever it's called okay more of these puzzles whatever uh, when you're finished with the whole board treasure hunt board then you will get this reward 
and it goes on and so on when you finish the second one you will get this third fourth fifth blah 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 and when you're opening the when you're opening the fields you will get a really good and really good uh, materials that will help you to progress even further more you have the rate info right here so you can double check for every single material and there is as well event shop okay you can get one part for free everything else is for the money 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 on the right when you finish the puzzle board count you will get certain freebies everyone will be able to get those freebies don't worry you have 14 days to do it you will get the rune fragments you will get the skill rune support chest here you might get lucky for the legendary rune and heroic uh, rune where you randomly get it specialized event is still here and that's it from this part honestly just in case wait out and don't use your encore mission keys and instant dungeon keys wait out maybe they're gonna improve it maybe it will stay like this but just wait out a little bit until we get some type of news and please tell me in the comment section below did you manage to get one of those items how hard etc i really 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 want to know because we're talking about the many runs we're gonna need to do to actually acquire all of this i don't know was this intended to be like this or not okay i believe i covered everything but i just want to add workshop of brilliant light that's super important uh okay battlefield of turn da, 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 give me that oh yeah challenge i didn't play so much i played against cerberus rank four by the way happy with that although i went from the rank one by the, but i didn't manage uh, i had some crazy runs but it was it wasn't perfect um okay workshop of brilliant light massive massive improvements and i want to tell you what you should grind and what mistakes you should avoid now like i already said don't buy stuff in the shop not worth it not worth it at all this is now the difference normal uh, artifacts in normal mode in easy mode sorry has been buffed in what way on the demon cancel entrance you're gonna get four artifacts on Demon Castle 25th uh, floor, you're gonna get now four artifacts. And on the 50th floor, you're gonna get... Uh, is it... Four, five. Yes, five. So have in mind, overall, we are talking about 13 artifacts now on easy that you can get. How do I know that? I, I read the notice, okay? Just so you know, I'm not talking this out of my head. This is definitely an official information. So four, four, five, level 73 artifacts when you finish normal. Plus, they made uh, better buffs and higher chance to get the legendary buffs. Okay, have that in mind. So now it should be easier and also more rewarding. Now about the normal game mode, guys. This is now the case. This is now the case. In every single normal mode, you can get a legendary piece of the new artifacts, which are level 78. But, but put this in consideration. Even if you pull level 78, if they have trash substats and main stats, they're trash. Even though they're level 78. Have that in mind. So what is more worth it? To grind easy or normal? The answer is normal. But only if you can beat demon castle 25th floor that is my opinion only then uh because you will get from demon castle uh, castle entrance you're getting six from demon castle 25th floor you're getting six and then here you're getting eight okay you're getting eight on the 50th 50th floor and of course for the hunters it will be also eight so if you can beat normal entrance and castle 25th floor, it is more worth grinding normal because at the end of the day, you're going to get 12 artifacts and you will have possibility that some of them will be legendary. If you do the full easy, you can get 13 artifacts, right? But they'll be only level 73. Now, 
if you can only beat normal Demon Castle entrance, then in my opinion, grinding easy mode is more worth it. Because here you're getting six artifacts. Some of them could be legendary, but if they're shitty stats, they're shit gears, okay? But on the easy mode, overall, you're gonna get 13 gears, which is made worth it than getting six right here. Because you will have 13 different artifacts, even though they're level 73, you have higher possibility you will get the good sub stats and main stats. So that's it. Long story short, normal is more worth it if you can beat demon castle 25th floor if you cannot easy will be better for you in my opinion currently just uh after the update my opinion tell me your opinions of course i believe i covered everything what i wanted to cover tomorrow we're gonna start getting check-in and don't worry okay they still didn't post release everything but that's it hopefully you did enjoy the video leave a like subscribe your opinions in the comment section below and yeah, see you next one. Bye.